हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू वीडियो नंबर 91 ऑफ द चैनल माला केम फ्री वीडियो नंबर 91 इज द 32nd एपिसोड ऑफ केमिकल थर्मोडायनामिक्स एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस एपिसोड इज कार्नॉट रेफ्रिजरेटर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट कार्नॉट रेफ्रिजरेटर अच्छा यू हैव सीन कार्नॉट साइकिल जस्ट इफ यू रिवर्स द साइक्लिक प्रोसेस दैट मीन्स इफ यू स्टार्ट द कंप्रेशन फर्स्ट एंड सप्लाई वर्क टू द सिस्टम सिस्टम मीन्स दिस वर्किंग सब्सटेंस प्रेजेंट इन द हीट इंजिन देन व्हाट विल हैपन हीट विल बी टेकन फ्रॉम द कोल्ड बाथ और लो टेम्परेचर सिंक and deliver to the hot bath that is high temperature source then it is acting as refrigerator so reversing the direction of each of the four processes of carnot engine leads to the absorption of heat qc from the cold reservoir at the temperature tc here we are considering temperature of the cold bath is tc and delivery of the heat qh to the hot reservoir where the temperature is th with the work w done on the system here work is done on the system compression is done first rather than by the system then it is acting as re carnot refrigerator okay so in the carnot refrigerator yes do you see this is the hot bath hot heat bath and this is the cold bath and here heat is taken from the cold bath by this refrigerator this is refrigerator okay and work is done on the system w then it delivers heat to the hot bath Yeah. How we are considering? Initially, consider the system has own energy that is own internal energy. Say that is E. Okay. Then work is done on the system. Then the energy will be E plus W. W is the work done. Work done on the system then with this energy it absorb heat from the cold bath say qc is the heat absorbed from cold bath okay or cold reservoir okay then now then what is the total energy total energy now it is e plus w plus qc okay. so with this energy what happen out of this energy it delivers this qh amount of the heat to the hot reservoir or hot bath okay so this is the entire refrigeration that is carnot refrigerator or refrigeration process here work is done on the system first that means compression is done first okay work is added then with this it takes heat from the cold bath with this energy and out of this energy out of this total energy e plus w plus qc 
this amount QH amount it delivers to the hot bath. Now remember in the refrigeration cycle what we want we want to extract maximum heat from the cold bath at the extent of so want to extract extract or try try to extract maximum heat from cold bath at the expense of expense of fixed amount of work say here it is W amount of work that is W now in this refrigerator this Carnot refrigerator this ratio of QC QC by W QC is the heat absorbed from the cold bath W is the work done on it that is denoted by beta and it is known as the coefficient of performance coefficient coefficient of performance and unlike efficiency of Carnot engine unlike efficiency efficiency this coefficient of performance or we can write it as COP that is coefficient of performance this is this can be greater than greater than 1 okay. now <clears throat> so what we have found that this coefficient of performance beta is equal to qc by w now in the Carnot cycle also we have seen that this w will be is equal to qh minus qc okay so what we can write beta is equal to qc by QH minus QC. If you divide by QC, both numerator and denominator, then what it will be? It will be 1 divided by QH minus QC divided by QC and that will be is equal to 1 divided by QH by QC minus 1. Okay. Now, just try to remember about this Carnot cycle where this is something different thing. Okay. We go to Carnot cycle now. In Carnot cycle, what you have observed? In Carnot cycle. Okay. What we have observed? eta this is the efficiency this is efficiency okay this efficiency it was is equal to w by total amount of heat absorbed okay this is the w net okay and we we have seen that this w net net work done by the system that is is equal to net heat absorbed that is is equal to q2 minus q1 so this efficiency eta is equal to which we know that already we have derived t2 minus t1 by t2 that can also be written as in place of W net Q2 
क्यू टू माइनस क्यू वन बाय क्यू टू ओके सो फ्रॉम हियर व्हाट वी कैन राइट वन माइनस टी वन बाय टी टू इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस क्यू वन बाय क्यू टू सो दिस इज कैंसिल दिस इज कैंसिल दिस नेगेटिव नेगेटिव कैंसिल सो फ्रॉम हियर आई कैन राइट टी वन बाय टी टू इज इक्वल टू क्यू वन बाय क्यू टू दिस वी हैव सीन इन कार्नोट साइकिल ओके सो नाउ कंपेयरिंग विद दिस कंपेयरिंग विद दिस हियर व्हाट कैन यू राइट If we compare this one, then what we can write? Q H by Q C. I'll write here. See, I'm comparing this one with here. Okay. Then Q H by Q C. I can write it as. So we can write Q H by Q C is equal to here. You see, it is T one by T two. Q one proportional to T one. That means here it is T H by T C. Then the this is coefficients of performance beta, which is is equal to one by Q H by Q C minus one. That will be is equal to one by T H by T C minus one. Okay. Then this one I can write it as this is T C divided by T H minus T C. Okay. This is coefficient of performance. we can write in terms of temperature as well as in terms of the heat transfer right now the next question come is it possible is it possible to construct hundred percent perfect carnot refrigerator carnot refrigerator okay this is the question now you see 100% perfect means 100% perfect means qc is equal to Q H. That means whatever heat it will absorb from the cold reservoir, it will deliver the same amount to the hot reservoir, and no work is done on it. Okay, if the work is not done, no work is done on it. so we know that beta is equal to qc by w when w is equal to 0 beta should be infinity and that is not possible moreover from second law of thermodynamics that is from this clausius statement we know that heat cannot be transferred from the cold body to hot body without any external aid okay that is clausius statement so this is not possible hope you have understood thank you